Okay, in the last video, we showed you how to use the index function to pick off a single element from a row or column. Now, here's a really neat trick with the index function. If you enter row or column number, the row number or column number equals zero, then index sort of picks off the entire row or column. Then index will pick off an entire row or column. So let's do an example. Suppose you want to add up the distance of all the cities going to Denver. Boston to Denver, Chicago to Denver, Dallas to Denver, Denver to Denver. In other words, the fourth column here. So if you would say sum and you say index, okay, and you pick out our nice array, and you say you want zero for the row, and then Denver's the fourth column. Now that'll add up everything in the fourth column, and I can show you in a minute that this index with the zero in there really picks off the entire fourth column. So I get 9325. Now you want to check that. You could add up this column, and you'll get 9325. And a really cool way to add that up is if you go to the home tab and there's an auto sum button and if you just go there you can pick out sum and see excel guesses you want to add those up as i would say that's some icon bad pun so you get 9325 so that's a very useful uh tool to use the auto sum button and if you don't believe me about this i double click that cell or you can use f2 to show the contents of the cell and here's a little neat trick. I'm going to write it down before I do it. But if you point to any part of a formula, point to any part of a formula, and hit F9, you can see what that part of the formula does. So, for example, if I go in here, you have to hit escape to get out of it or you'll lose the formula. But if I highlight this very carefully, now I'm hitting the F9 key, it shows me the array of the fourth column. That's an array in Excel. We'll learn more about arrays in later videos. But you can see it's picking up that entire fourth column. Now, of course, I could do the same thing. You know, what I did here, okay, was I put the row index being zero. And another tip, Excel 2013, a function you may not know. There's a function formula text. And if you use formula text, and you point to a formula, it will show, will point to a cell, I'm sorry. It'll show the formula in that cell. Really cool. So as you can see that formula. So I'm going to try this a little bit differently now. I'm going to do equal sum. I'm going to do an index. And basically, I have to pick out the array. But I'm going to pick out the fourth row. So basically, if I would pick a four and then a comma zero, that should pick out the fourth row, which happens to be the same thing as the fourth column here. And so I would get 93.25. Okay, so that's a really clever use of index function, which may come in handy at some point. Maybe it won't. But it's still cool to know you can do that. And we also introduced you to that great formula text function, which if you drag it down, will, will annotate your spreadsheet with the formulas, which can be useful to your colleagues, which is always a nice thing. Okay, in the next video, we'll start talking about the match function, and then we'll see how the index and match function is an incredibly powerful combination in Excel to pick off data from cells, desi desired data from cells of interest. Okay, see you in the next video. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so, yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston. Um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But, again, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.